It is different. I think it's ambiguous. Uh, I mean, I think you could interpret the ending as redemptive. Um, I mean, I'm not going to say exactly what happens, but you could say that she rediscovers other loves. Um, but I think you could also interpret it as very dark, because by then she's done some very dark things herself. And I, I don't think you can really have a happy ending in a conventional sense with a novel with this subject matter, because having read a lot of accounts by people who've lost children, having spoken to people who've lost children, there is no such thing as a happy ending. The only happy ending would be for this appalling event not to have happened, and you can't rewrite history. So I think what you're left with is, uh, what do you do instead? I mean, how do you carry on? And for Laura, I think a lot of it is, the point is that she rediscovers agency. She rediscovers the ability to act herself. Um, in her immediate grief, she's been quite passive. You know, this thing has happened to her and everybody clusters around her and looks after her. And she has to discover the ability to, if you like, fight back. And on the one hand, she's fighting back against the driver of the car who killed her child. She's going to find out what he loves and take it away from him. But there's also the whole subplot of her marriage to David, a very passionate love affair with him. He's left her for somebody else and how she's going to fight back against that. So the revenge and the plot, I suppose, it's, it's all, it was always going to happen on lots of different really interests. No, not specifically, but I had been told a real-life story um, about a, a child that had been killed just on a suburban street in London, a friend of a friend of mine. Um, and that story had had a huge impact on me. Um, it was a girl who had just hopped out of a car into the road and another car had come along and killed her on a deserted street. It was one of these accidents that shouldn't have happened. And it did make me realise that my own particular paranoia as a parent revolves around accidents. Um, and we're all paranoid as parents, you know, once you have children. You're... But I realised I'm, I'm not paranoid about illness. I think, you know, if one of my children was ill, I would become an expert in that disease and I would save them somewhere. But I am paranoid about accident. I, I feel we're all at the mercy of those random events.